Howdy folks, Corky Duke here, Bomber Crew is the game, and uh, Super Bowl 56 is the name. Now, I have replaced my loss from the last campaign. My apologies if you're a Sam Hubbard fan, he was the crew that I lost, Staff Sergeant Sam Hubbard. And I replaced him with Staff Sergeant Joe Burrow, the quarterback of the uh, Bengals. Let me read here a little bit about him. I pulled him up, and he's an American quarterback for the Cincinnati Bung uh, Bengals. He uh, was with Ohio State, played, following a stint with Ohio State, Burrow played college football at LSU where he won the Heisman Trophy in 2020. So, okay. And uh, he was drafted by the Bengals. And he's the uh, right waist gunner. The new right waist gunner. So anyway, and I was able to get him with all the crew except for the plimp soils for his boots, which... Uh, I just don't have enough money to get that right now. So I'm 25 bucks short. <laughs> Jeez. Anyway, okay. So we're going to head off on our, what is it, 17th mission, I believe? Yep. So let's pick a target. Mm, oh, man. Rizzo or. Hmm. So high risk, very high risk. Let's do, this goes against my advice, but I'm going to do it just because this says high risk and Barizzo is a very high risk mission. But I've always um, advised people not to take on enemy aces and critical missions, but we should be all right, I hope. I just don't know where he's going to attack, where that ace is going to jump out at us. But we do have friendly fighters, so that's one good thing. <laughs> That we will use to our benefit and will help us out greatly. But we got to get this uh, critical mission done anyway to advance to the next section of the campaign. So here we go. Let's hope we don't lose any more crew members. So, but anyway, Joe Burrow, the quarterback, is the new right waist quarterback. Everybody wave at him. There he is. Okay. Alrighty. That's it, boys. Give them hell. Good. The left waist gun has already got HE ammo. That's awesome. That's going to be very helpful. Ah, crap. Where are you going? Wrong person. There we go. Okay. fire again. They're going for our engines. And that's historically accurate. Generally, the German pilots did go for wings and engines. So let's get this thing fixed. Get this engine fixed. Ah, crap. thing fixed. Alrighty, good. Engine number three is back oper back at being operational. We've got to get this crew down and take a picture of that sub. We need to we need a picture of that sub. We need the intelligence points. Where are these fighters at? There they are, coming in behind us. All right, there it is. There it is. Got it. All right, good. Okay. We'll get back on course here. Excellent. All right. And continue on with the mission. 
tail guns have uh, been upgraded to Mark 50 caliber Mark level two, so they're going to be a little bit more powerful than the other 50 calibers. I don't know how that works. A 50 caliber is a 50 caliber, but it's a simulation, so not everything's historically accurate in this, obviously. But it's still a fun game, and I still love playing it. So. I don't think they could make a game that is absolutely 100% accurate. I mean, I just don't think it would be possible because, well, the, avoiding the obvious on that. So, war is war. So, to make a game that's accurate, completely 100% accurate, that would mean people would die in it. And that, that is just not the idea at all. So, so we're all right with this. We don't want people dying just because they're playing a game. It's not good. All righty. Oh, we need uh, fighters coming in. And this is tricky. This is where this, this is a tricky mission. Very difficult to do. Where's those fighters at? There they are. Or just one fighter. The heat disengaged, I think so. Turn around the right way. Yeah, our friendly fighters are here. No, we don't. We want them. Bypass that, bypass that. Come, don't. Damn it. Turn around the other way. Damn it. Turn around the wrong way. second one we've got a little over three minutes left to get this our friendly fighters are covering us so we should be good as far as a uh, enemy interference except for the the uh, fire from the ships which is never really a big deal should be able to knock the second one out here and then we'll have less than three minutes left to knock the third transport out come on get lined up on it good that's it and misses every time when you try to do that. Ah, it's enough to drive you crazy. But I'm already crazy, so it's enough to drive me to market. Would that be a better saying? Probably. Probably not. Who knows? Come on, get lined up on this thing. Let's knock it out. We've got two minutes left. Damn it. See? See what I mean? Wind up on it. Beautiful. All right. All right. Get the high altitude. And let's get back home. Got the engine fire shot off. 
got to get your fire extinguished. Got to get everybody to their. Come on, what is hitting me? Where's this thing at? All right, must be from Bob. Come on, Burl. I don't know if he's got his first kill yet or not. I wasn't paying attention. There we go. Reader got that one. All right, good. Okay. Well, we're heading home now. Mission's complete. Let's get Reader in the sick bay first. <sighs> one of the main problems with this game. <laughs> Let's get pilot healed. Captain Torbert, the referee of the game. That's how I decided to divide it up four Bengals players and four Rams players. And uh, to keep it even and impartial, the referee for the pilot. We still got, well, we still got to deal with that ace. Yeah, that's right. He's supposed to show up on this. He'll probably show up on our way back home. Come on, give me those call players options again. Give me that call fighter option. I'm going to jump on it as soon as it's available. There he is. Yeah. All right. Come on, Burl. Come on, get him, get him. Get him. Come on. Got the fighters coming in. Come on, get him. Engaging in comets. This is not going to go good. Come on, come on, get him. Um, there it goes, comets again. Oh, our fighters are here. Go ahead. Come on, take them out, boys. There we go. We got the ace. Excellent. We got a comet? Get, get those comets now. Yeah, our friendly fighters will take care of them. Let's get these guys in the sick bay. Some of them are pretty badly shot up. All right, looking good. We got the we got and that's ten thousand. He's a he's the fourth ace, so he's worth ten thousand bucks. So that's gonna be some serious money. That's awesome, awesome. And we're almost home. Look at that, awesome. Double awesome. And we got our landing gear. Triple awesome. This is going better and better. Joe Burrow survived his very first mission. I don't know if he got any kills. I'll have to check the movie. It doesn't always, when a crew member makes a kill, he doesn't always report it in the, the chat, but sometimes it does. All right. Get these guys in the sick bay. Sick bay. That's just laughable concept. There was no room on a B-17 for a sick bay. But anyway. Like I said, it's a simulation. It's not historically accurate. And there's home right there. Ah. But we got the ace, so that's good. And everybody is okay. Nobody is killed. So that's even better news. Got to turn this thing around and land it. We'll be good to go. All righty. Here we are. 
and now we're on to even bigger missions, even more deadly missions. All right. Armor Mark Fuselage 3. That's what we want. Training, and we're going to make... Now, normally, this is where I have to... Normally, the right waist gunner, which is where Joe Burrow is at, would be the first aid. But I'm going to make him the engineer instead. And the left waist gunner, I usually make the engineer, which I already have. If I... No. Yeah. Okay, yep. No, I got it right. The, the right waist gunner is usually secondary first aid. And uh, the left waist gunner is usually engineer. So, but I'm not. If I if I change him, he'll lose all his benefits. You'll have to start all over again. So I don't want to do that. So anyway, oh, you know, let's get let's get Joe all the. He only needs the plum soils. That's the only thing he needs. So, so Burrow, yeah, he just needs his boots. He's got everything else. So we'll give him the plum soils. All right. Okay. And back to the aircraft. We want to upgrade this baby. Get the fuselage going here. Okay. Ooh, boy, that's expensive. That is expensive. 2300 But it will protect the crew and the plane better. And we're going to need to upgrade the engines now. Yeah. All right. Yeah, well, we're still rocking and rolling. Let's see. Mid rear, armor fuselage three, and nose armor fuselage three. Okay, so the bomber's completely upgraded to armored mark fuselage three, which makes it a lot tougher to shoot down. So, screenshot. And that was the 17th mission, I believe. I actually can complete, and I have done this before, complete the campaign on armored mark fuselage three without upgrading it to armored mark fuselage four generally don't want to do that though but it can be done i have done it before so anyway on with the next mission now we're going to get into croton yeah croton tank factory at croton all we need is sylvester sperber and airflow complex so we're going with croton gentlemen the target for today is croton a tank factory and after we hit it they'll say tanks for the bombs <laughs> Get it, tank, tanks for the bombs. Tanks, 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 tanks. All right, enough of my dry humor. Let's get going. Let's get flying. Why? Because I belong in the air. Well, not really, but, you know, figuratively speaking. I know, I'm, I seem a little crazy right now. I'm just glad to have this. Uh, my computer fixed. What's that? This is actually the new computer that I'm, I'm using right now. So my old computer will now be the backup in case something happens. Like I have a timed campaign that needs to be done at a, a time, a certain time period, and then I can use my backup laptop to complete the campaign that I started on. Ah. Uh, there, that's better. Let's get uh, Stafford to the other side. All right. Oh, no, I need him on this side now, damn it. Stafford got that one. Beautiful. Look at that. I was trying to get, I love getting screenshots where the planes are blowing up. That's cool. It looks really cool. And good looking bomber. What do you think? Let me know in the comments if you think it's a good looking bomber. How do you think I do on the nose art? Let me know in the comments. And the tail art, which is also my creation. Again, let me know in the comments.
Do you think I'm crazy? Let me know in the comments. <laughs> the answer would be yes, obviously, I am. But that's all right. I'm a good kind of crazy. Okay, everything looks good right now. Nobody needs to go. To, nobody needs to go to sick bay. Everybody's got 100% health, so that's always good news. And let's see. I don't know why I did that. I don't need to do it, but I did it anyway. He's gonna get up under. No, he's gonna get in front of us. Crap! It's another Ju88. I'll get him. Joe Burrow in the sick bay. There we go. Excellent. That is Brizzo right there. It sure is. Target we hit earlier in the campaign. I think I dropped down a little bit too early, but that's all right. It gives us a nice little view of Sicily. Look at that. Here we go. Spiders that got some coming in off my starboard. There they are. Wow, I had them right pegged right there. Uh, Stafford needs up to be on the other side. Crap, what the hell? Bunch of World War One by wings and one Stuka is giving us all this problem. All right, let's take the target out. We're on the bomb run. Bombs away. All right, good. Oh, why didn't I call the Mustangs? Oh well. Forgot about it. And a secondary target, photo opportunity, and we can also destroy it too. And we'll climb up to high altitude and head for home. Matthew Stafford got that one. Lieutenant Stafford. The game. There we go. All right, good. Looking good. We're heading for home. Get a few people in the sick bay. All righty. Escort. 
Sick bay. Yeah. Actually, I should have some reader for. All right. He'll be next. Yeah. If you play this game, this is the time to send your people to sick bay in between waves of fighters. Uh oh. This could be comets. No, they're not hitting us fast enough. Probably JU88s and 250, 262s. Yeah, that's what they are. Nope, there were comets. How about that? I was wrong. They were comets. But we took two of them out, and that third one is heavily damaged, so we're doing good. Go to people. Yeah. But I thought, oh, he made a scraping, scraping run with his guns across our fuselage. That's always scary. All right. Well, we survived, so that's good. Again, now's the time to heal your crew. I love it that the game allows you to do that. <laughs> you, you know, you literally want to go into each wave with your crew at 100% health. That's really the way to go. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. There's a navigation point for home, tag that, and we'll be on a direct alignment with the base. Oh, 262 right there. Get that thing. Get that thing. Come on, there, damn man. What the hell? What took you so long? That's that. That's two sixty-two right there. Making passes at us. They know we're not in a, a singles bar either. Not those kind of passes. All right, take him out. There we go. Beautiful. Great job, Deji, or Staff Sergeant Reader. Deji Reader, I believe is his name. All righty. Oh, we still got a ways to go. All fighters ain't available yet. Keep attacking us from our starboard side. fighter below won't be able to reach us. This one is, uh, it's a JU-88. It's the only propeller, German propeller that can reach us at high altitude, so. Wow. Get him. There we go. There we go. Excellent. Oh, we're almost home now. Cool. Awesome. We've got our landing gear, everything's looking good. We're gonna jump down, try and take him out before we get home. I don't think we're gonna be able to. 
Yeah, we're, he's disengaging. We've lost him. That's all right. Okay. That's it for that mission. We destroyed the tank factory. Like I said, they told us tanks for the bombs. Of course, I uh, know you've been watching the news and the uh, Russian invasion of Ukraine is horrible and uh, here we are on the brink of uh, World War III just like we were during the Cold War and I can remember very vividly uh, the fear of a nuclear war uh, growing up in, in the 80s and stuff. I'm, I'm uh, too uh, young for the Cuban Missile Crisis but I remember there were several movies that came out in the 80s about World War Three, like Damnation Alley and the next day, the, yeah, the next day, I think is the name of it, and uh, kind of give us an idea of what it would be like uh, in a nuclear war and the aftermath, and it's absolutely scary, but, you know, this is what happens when, just like in World War Two, when one person decides they're going to dictate your fate, you know, Putin refuses to recognize the Ukraine as an independent nation. He claims they're really Russians. Well, yeah, they're fighting better than your Russians. So they're obviously better because you got a stronger military, but yet you can't seem to beat them. Just give it up, you know, just give it up. You're not going to win this war. And you keep saber rattling like that you're going to find yourself at war with you with nato not just the united states but with all of nato that's the rest of the world putin all righty engines armor no i don't need that okay but here we are on you know this is uh the verge of world war three may even we may have already started world war three and just don't know it yet Anyway, 17, so one more mission. Got to upgrade the plane here. What do I need to upgrade? Um, fuselage is, we're still 13,000 away from systems. We need to upgrade the gun turrets. That's what we need to do. Tail guns. Oh, man, that's expensive. Ball turret. Like I said, that is expensive. That's cheap. No. Nope. Um, so where are we at? Equipment. Damn. Oh, survival. Let's do that. Pigeon. Oh, we can't. Damn. Dinghy. We can buy a dinghy. There's always an option of buying a dinghy. Ah, okay. Oops. I don't want that. I want that. Okay. All right, here we go. One more mission and two mission block. Then I'm gonna have to go to work. So we'll we'll end. Uh, oh wait, that is a two mission block. Okay, that is the 18th mission. Okay, uh, then uh, I'm gonna end it. Um, I'm Corky Duke. Corky Duke got comments my website. What was the first mission? I can't remember now. The last mission was Proto. First mission was critical mission. Um, yeah, uh, signal convoy. Okay. I'm I'm uh, I'm on it now. I'm I know exactly where I'm at. Corky Duke is my name. Uh, CorkyDuke.com is my website. Like, comment, share my video. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. I really appreciate it. My channel has grown. It's a small channel, but it is growing. So I'd appreciate your support if you want to give it to me. Uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you all next time. Y'all take care. Bye.